My name is Ilkka Suppanen. I'm a designer from Finland. Probably bus don't have to be as hip as iPhone. And uh, probably the desire is a also a dangerous uh, game to play with because the desires can be also short-lived. Uh, again, I, I'm a little bit scared of the hot, sexy topic because they tend to change and the new hot, sexy topics might come. So probably sustainability shouldn't be a hot, sexy topic at all. I think generally, if you think about the cities, they are not built for a particular purpose. There is many reasons why they appear. So build a sustainable city might not actually be possible itself when you start, but an uh, existing city might become a sustainable. I love uh, cities, I love to be in cities and they amplify my life. Uh, I think like any city, sustainable city can amplify life generally. I think rich cultural life is necessary for any uh, city and uh, so sustainable cities should have rich cultural life. I think generally the, how uh, the cities are created and uh, what makes something a great city might be completely uh, inhuman, for example, if you think about the New York, it's a kind of a technological uh, order of slabs and buildings, but it creates extremely beautiful and nice uh, urban environment, and it can be actually a very sustainable city in the end because of its compactness. So m a lot of things can emerge from a very unexpected way. Yes, I, I think the, if you think about the meaning and the meaning of the space, that is a sustainable act by itself to give importance to something and then be preserved and taken care uh, by itself because it has a meaning through the stories and a personal importance to the people. Yes, I, I think generally when we think about cities that we could plan a city it never happens like this. Yes, we might plan a city, but cities are grown like uh, uh, plants or something like that. And even though we segregate the, the work and, and the play and, and the leisure or whatever, it will eventually go and get mixed because if everything is segregated, it will die in the end. Yes, of course we should uh, build it for generosity, but you know so many buildings, which are great buildings, and uh, being it's very human buildings, can be originally built for the greed. Yeah, I can imagine a city skyline of tomorrow, but I, I think uh, cities can be actually very sustainably uh, strong uh, units because of the compactness of that and even with the production of the energy within the city. So I think that can actually change the city skyline if you think about this very literally.